I hate this hack. Hey guys, it's Rachel and... Rachel. Yeah. So I've made a lot of life hack videos in my lifetime and for the most part, I make up every single life hack. But there's a bunch of things that just make sense to the inner workings of my brain. So I decided to make a series where I have professionals watch my life hack and DIY videos and let me know what their real thoughts are on them because again, they're all weird. So give this video a thumbs up if you like it and comment down below which one of these life hacks you saw. And also at the end of the video, comment down below what the last life hack was because I want to see how many of you guys actually watched till the end. So let's get on with the video. So we're okay. gonna start off from a beauty video from 2015 because that was the start of my life hacks. All right. 2015. This life hack is to use red lipstick as a concealer primer. And I saw this picture online. To be fair, this one wasn't mine. You're not wrong, but she's much darker than you are. So you shouldn't have used red. But see, okay, look at this, look at this. Right here, you're nice and pink. Uh -huh. I don't wanna get too technical, but like you should have used like yellow. Well, that's a shock to me. <laughs> you did a good job in that you used a little bit. Otherwise, the rest of the hack, pretty good. Good, except for the main part of the hack is wrong. <laughs> you take a single cotton ball, take this brush, Put it in so every single coat of mascara you put. <laughs> the story of my life. Got another coat. That's a real life hack. That is a real life hack. It mm -hmm. is. But this life hack, I didn't see a difference. <laughs> <laughs> there, there is a difference in, in, in real life. In real life, in yes, person. Okay. Yes, absolutely. Okay, so I wouldn't say this is like the worst life hack, but like maybe like my fiber mascara. You can make the eyeshadow the day before. Take a foam sheet, just cut two pieces that are shaped like an eye out of the foam sheet, and then take some water, brush the water over it. That is a huge eye. <laughs> did you cheat a little on that no, one? No, did not at all. Really? Yeah, you can make it right now. Do you want to do it? Yeah. So here's the foam sheet. Okay. Cut, cut, cut. We're not gonna cut it cute or anything. No. I mean, we technically don't, I'm just gonna let it be a square, okay? That's fine. That's fine. I'm gonna put the water down first. Mm -hmm. I'm convinced she cheated. I didn't. Oh, look at that pigment. It is really pigmented. Ready, guys? Push it down and lift. Oh, okay. You're supposed to also wipe to get more of it. Okay, see that, I would do. All right, you heard it here, folks. It works. If you have the problem where your lips are always chapped, take green tea bags and some water and just hold it on your lips for like five minutes and they won't be chapped. Because it's full of water. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I can put water in my lips and it won't make them not chapped. Okay, that life hack video is done. That was pretty good. Ready for the next one? This one's yeah. not technically like a makeup life hacks video, but there's makeup stuff involved. Okay. Right. And then if you want to be tan for prom, this but you don't want to get a spray tan and be yeah. orange, just take some lotion and two tablespoons of cocoa powder and then rub that together and then just put it on your skin. I would be nervous about that one just because if you're doing like prom before sunset, you're going to sweat and you're going to smell like chocolate, but not like the good kind of smell. I, like guess, I don't really sweat like over here though. I guess I do Maybe. sweat over here. Like in your, yeah, in your like elbow pit, arm, whatever this is. Your elbow pit? Yeah. You heard it here first, guys. Don't do that life hack in the elbow pit. Right. If you're into that slopey nose look, no yeah. shame in having a not slopey nose. nose. I work it too. But if you want your nose to look kind of slopey for prom, take some brown eyeshadow and just draw a little line across your nose and then blend that. And then literally it's going to mm. look so slopey in every... <laughs> Make sure you're using like the perfect shade because it can um, look like you just have like yes. dirt on your nose. It's absolutely up to you guys to use the right shade for your face. Right. Take some really dark self tanner and fill your eyebrows in with that and then it's gonna dye the skin under your eyebrows so that you never have to fill it in. But make sure to do two layers or else it looks kind of orange. Okay, okay, I buy that. I would do that. I would have never thought to do that, but. We're going to another weird prom life hacks video because Kay. that's where I do most of my beauty life hacks. And just this take a one. light lotion. It's kind of makeup. It on your ring Ooh. finger and dab it on the cakey area of your makeup and it won't remove your foundation or highlighter or anything. I would try that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're gonna sweat and then your head's gonna get super sweaty and your makeup's gonna come off. Yeah. A life hack for this would be to find an organic antiperspirant deodorant. So just dab a little bit of that on your forehead or your upper lip or anywhere you sweat a lot and it'll stop you from sweating. The only thing I would say is deodorant is really heavy. So I use the vegan one. Okay. 
Okay. That was a good length for me. I like that hair length. Tie and slip it under the soda That took like three tries. <laughs> okay, good to know. So then soda. at that point, if I'm wearing acrylic nails and I need to open something, I just, I'm like, mom. <laughs> what if you're not next to anybody? Yeah. To make putting on wind liner faster, take a flosser stick, because the bunch of it, I hate this hack. I love it. I'm not a snob about a lot of things. A lot of things, I'm like, whatever, I'll eat it, whatever, no big deal, I'll do it, whatever. But like when it comes to winged eyeliner, if you can't do it, just don't. Just sit and practice. That's what I did for three I did that too. years. I sat and practiced. If I put my opinions aside, this is one of the better ones I've seen. This one I did when I was at a film program for the summer, so I had to stay at a dorm. Uh huh. And I didn't have anywhere to put my palettes. Oh, I like that. Now we're going to the most recent video. This one I use like to this day. Like today you did it? Like I, no, like I had did it like last week. Oh, okay. Oh, you're using hair color. Well, beard color. You're supposed to only leave it on for like five minutes or something. And if you leave it on for longer, it stains your skin. <laughs> oh, I want some of that gum now. Mm. <laughs> but no, I do this. I do this at home. I use professional hair color. You do? Yeah, okay. A round of applause for that. Oh my god, that that's why this is a thing. It's around. You d I didn't know. I've just been doing this because I think it's fun. I know how much you love these. Putting on a winged eyeliner is hard for you. Just find a bobby pin. Put some eyeliner on this bottom triangle part. So you're using this basically just as like a stencil so that you know exactly where to put it. So make sure to put the wing whatever way you want it to be. Make it a little pointier. That one I like. Because you said, go back and make it pointy. I feel um, like that's my problem with people using it. Also, like, if you can't do it yourself, you didn't earn that wing, but whatever. But like, make it pointy. Like, make it pointy. She's clearly very passionate about this. Like I said, I'm not stubborn about a lot of things. I'm stubborn about other people's faces. I'm so <laughs> And what they do with them. <laughs> and take the mascara and go just to the tips of your eyelashes and wiggle it all the way up, like over and over again. It's just gonna give you a little extra length. Yeah. I don't feel like that's a life hack. Like that's just a way to apply mascara. Eyelash glue. You have to wait way too long for your eyelash glue to dry. Yes. It's just a whole thing, okay? You know how putting on eyelashes is just a whole thing? It is a thing. It's a whole thing. Grab a piece of paper, cut off like that much, and put some chapstick over the entire thing. My forehead is enough of a surface. <laughs> I needed a table. Thin strips across it. Oh, and you're using black eyelash glue. It was the only one I had. Girl, you're brave. Thank you. Just take your paper, just attach your eyelash to it. Okay. That, you put the eyelash glue out on a piece of paper and you let it sit there. You squeeze it out, you let it go while you're doing your epic wings. Then you dip it in and put it on and it's tacky enough that you can just oh, okay. right on there. Highlighter light pack, ready? The light pack has just been chapstick on your face before you put the highlighter on. Does that actually work? Yeah. Just sticky. Did you like have a chapstick sponsorship or something? No. Again, it worked. If you want to bring some of your makeup mm. with you to prom, just take some transfer paper and Apparently cut a square talk, yeah. out of it. <laughs> and then just rub it on the makeup that you want to bring and fold it over and put it in your fanny pack. That is now attached to your leg. Okay, I do like that hack because actually if you like, a lot of what professional makeup artists do is for their palettes, they get like tracing paper or it's like a, like a wax paper that's not sticky. And that's what they use as their palette so they can fold it up and throw it in a bag and do touch-ups later. Ah. So that's actually a pretty good life hack. Oh, so this is like an actual thing that the professional It is, like do. that's a professional thing. Ah, How did you, I just, were you at the meeting? No, I wasn't. And this is the last life hack, you ready? It's not um, technically makeup, but I mean it's- It's nice. beauty, yeah. I'm a beauty professional. If whenever you <laughs> use a, a dark nail polish, removing it makes it get all up in your cuticles and you can never save it after that. Oh girl, that's why I didn't take my nail polish off. Well, you're about to learn the trick of your life. Okay. Apply some lotion on your nails right before you remove it, and then remove it, and it's gonna come off nice and clean. Red nails are the worst. They're actually the worst. They're actually the worst. Like, they're classy. They're like, I feel so like, damsel in distress. Like, save me, I have red nails. Like, you know. Or save yourself. It's 2018, we don't need that. Preach it, sister. The other way of doing that, I think, is just to soak your nails in like nail polish. Who has time for that? Rachel, this is a life hack. It's supposed to make your life 
Hacked. Sorry. Hacked. I forgot. I'm so sorry.